I was the managing director of the Iceland Chamber of Commerce and our main meeting room had pictures of all the men who had been chairmen of the chamber. Of course, all men, all bold and all old. Uh, and it was a full wall, just with pictures of men. And I always sat in that meeting room and felt awful. I just felt like um, um, they were all looking down at me and judging me. So I decided when, <laughs> when I would do this my way, we would have pictures of women and we call this the first women wall. We met and we were uh, discussing sort of how crazy this whole financial sector was. And a lot of things were changing in the world of women, but not a lot of things were changing in the world of business and finance. So we thought there is something there that uh, maybe we could find a business opportunity in. We uh, thought whether it was not possible to do this in a different way, whether it was not possible to create a financial service company with different values, with um, where we would have more women, uh, which would think these things a bit different. Elm is uh, our first investment, and it's really a small investment in our fund, uh, but it's a very dear one because this company is founded by three women. Yeah, just Yeah. You got that. <laughs> if we were going to grow more, we needed more investment to be able to keep our plant. So that's how we were luckily got either in. Nice. Mm -hmm. Iceland experienced its economic collapse and the meltdown of the financial sector. Um, well, just over a year after we had started uh, functioning as a new company. Uh, we managed to save all our clients money. No, none of our clients lost directly. The world needs the female talent and what it can bring to, yeah, whether it's uh, business, banking or politics. We want a profit, but we care how we make the profit. And if we increasingly get that trend going in business and finance, you know, we might be able to um, um, create sustainable capitalism. It's not about women being better than men, but it is about women being different from men. And together we actually create much better decisions and much better businesses uh, and much better societies. One of the things that we did when we decided to decorate our offices is to create a little bit of a mix between office and home. At Café Briet we eat lunch, we have meetings, greet guests and, and sometimes party. For us, experiencing Cartier was uh, a fantastic adventure because we left this country that was in the, still in the midst of the aftermath and all the anger associated with what, what happened here. And all of a sudden we met all these forward-looking people, all these brave entrepreneurs and Cartier and, and the people around the Cartier Award did an incredible job at uh, creating a professional process. Yes, it was intense and it was a lot of work and uh, it was quite tough. But it was uh, very good too, because you know when you really are put on the spot and you have to answer a lot of uh, different questions around your business, your strategy, etc. It makes you really think and rethink and uh, sharpen sort of your thoughts. Nobody felt like coming home gloating with an award at that time. At least we didn't. Maybe it's a women thing, but we felt extremely proud and honored. <laughs> We have now some 30 billion in assets under management, uh, 30 billion ISK. Approximately 300 million dollars. 300 million dollars. Nice little operation here. We have 35 uh, employees. We have built up a nice uh, asset management uh, business. We have attracted a lot of new clients. One option is to grow organic, but we are also looking now to opportunities where we can grow through acquisitions or mergers. <laughs> Because Audur means wealth, we created what we call the wall of real wealth, because these are our children. These are my two kids. My daughter is seven and her name is Audur. We had a little bit of a difficult birth. I made a promise to her then that uh, if she would stay with me, I would uh, spend the next 20 years to make sure things were different when she turned 20. So I have 13 more to go. <laughs> She's seven now. Yeah.